the situation at the Kabul airport, as you see, deteriorates. The CBS News will have been evacuated over the past several days on both U.S. and coalition aircraft. Pain and loss Saigon back then was uh, completely chaotic, so I, I could relate it to that, and I, I could relate it to the uh, uh, the scare, the frightenings uh, by the you know Afghanistan people. Uh, I know that they all are scared and frightened for their life uh, uh, and for their future. I feel very, uh, very sad, uh, very depressed as well. It brings back a lot of memories uh, for me uh, almost 50 years ago when I escaped Vietnam. During the time I was about 17 years old, uh, old enough to know what's going on, and old enough to know that my parents uh, and my brother were so scared. Um, I myself was scared too. It's just like in Vietnam. If you can do it, they can do it. They take everybody in. And I hope that this kind of message, I, if I can, is not maybe too late to the Afghan people. If they can get out, get out.